Hey guys, my name is Shubhraj Bhaskar and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add strokes within text in Framer websites. So if, been, if you have been using Framer for some time now, you must have noticed that we cannot add strokes within the Framer app natively. So in this video I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. So now without wasting your time, let's get started. So let's go to a new file and here I'm going to write, use the text option and write anything that you would like to add. So I'm going to write hello. And I'm going to go down and increase the size to around 144 pixels and then I'm going to increase the weight and uh, let's set it to semi bold and I'm going to center align it right here. Once we've done that, we need to select the text layer right here, go down and go to code override section. We are going to create a new file. So I'm going to rename the file, anything that you want to add right here. And then once we go into the file, you can see all this code right here. So what we need to do is go to the end of the file, create some space. And then you need to copy this code right here and paste it within the Framer app right here. And then we are going to save it by pressing Command S on the keyboard like this. Now go back to the pages section and go back to the screen right here. Right click on the text and now we are going to create a new component. Rename the component that you would want to have. Select the component that we have just created. Let's close the sound right here. And then go down and go to the code override section, select the file that we have just made so it's uh, strokes and override with the text stroke function that we have added in within the code in Framer app. Now once we go back to the page, we can see that we have got these strokes within the Framer app. Now obviously if you want to change the text that you have added, you can select the text and go down within the uh, strokes component and change the text from there. You can increase the width like this so that it shows the whole content. And if you want to change the color of the stroke and the fill color, you can go back to assets and within the code file, you can change these values. So if you want to change the fill color, you can change the white to any code or color that you want. So I'm going to enter something randomly here and you can also increase the stroke width. So I'm going to set it to around two pixels and then you can also increase the change the stroke color if you want. So in this way, you can add stroke within the framer websites. That was it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. Please like, comment, and share it with your friends. Have fun. Bye-bye.